Hi, welcome to this presentation. My name is Sachin Shirodkar and with me I have Abhay Radhakrishnan. In this presentation, we will be showing you how to configure OpenShift so that users can log into OpenShift using OpenID Connect. OpenShift offers several ways in which you could set up authentication. One of those ways and the focus of this video is OpenID Connect. OpenID Connect is a protocol and there are numerous authentication services that adhere to this protocol. Abai will be using Red Hat Single Sign-On as the authentication server to demonstrate the OpenID Connect configuration. A quick word on Red Hat SSO before we jump into the demo. Red Hat SSO is based on the Keycloak project and is a very flexible platform that works with web, mobile and cloud native applications. It acts as an authentication server and can work with SAML and OpenID Connect protocols. It can easily integrate with third-party identity providers. It is certified with LDAP and Microsoft Active Directory, which are sources of user information. And last but not the least, it comes with an easy-to-use administration GUI and REST APIs, which make it very easy to specify user federation, role mapping, etc. I will now hand it over to Abai, who will demonstrate how to set up this integration between OpenShift and Red Hat SSO using OpenID Connect. Over to you, Abai. Currently going to sign in as a administrator, Cube Admin. We are on version 4.10.15. If there are no identity providers configured, we will be able to get this add IDP option. We can see the different options over here. We will be using the Open ID Connect. In order to do that, first we will create the Open ID Connect provider Red Hat SSO in this situation. If you already have a provider available, you can straight away get into this step. Let us create a project for this purpose. Go to the operator hub and search for Red Hat single sign on. I'm going to install this operator in the namespace that we have just created. Now the operator is available. Let us go ahead and create a key cloak instance. I'm going to simply call this key cloak. Now let us go into the key cloak instance. When you click on the YAML, you will find the URL for the SSO, Red Hat SSO product. Now we are going to log into the administration console of the Red Hat SSO. The user ID and password can be found under the workloads secrets by searching the key cloak. Click on the credential key cloak. The user ID is the admin and the password you can copy from here. I'm going to use the master RAM for now and let us go ahead and create a client. So the login theme can be read at SSO. 
access type is confidential. And we are going to give the valid redirect URI. The redirect URI has to be in this pattern. Auth dash open shift dot. Then you can go ahead and copy the name of the cluster from here, starting with the apps. And this can be OAuth call to back, or we can simply put a star for the redirection. So the field that we have filled is um, the login theme we have used right at SSO. The access type is confidential and the redirect URI in the pattern of HTTPS OAuth OpenShift dot name of the cluster slash star. And you can check the blog for the alternate options. Now, when we click on the credentials, we will be able to see the secret or you can simply click on the installation. You can click on the installation and select the OIDC JSON format. This will provide the SSO URL that needs to be configured on the OpenShift IDP and the name of the client and the secret value. Let's go ahead and create a user. So I'm going to simply call this as a test user one. And I'm going to set up a password for this. Now we are going to add an identity provider. In order to do that, we will need a certificate. Since Red Hat SSO is available on this cluster itself, I'm going to go to the secrets. Router dash CA. Pick up the TLS.CRT value. Then go to the users tab here. So I'm going to call it open ID demo. Put the certificate file here. And client ID is IDP demo client, the one that is created in the Red Hat SSO. the client secret. Let's go ahead and put the client secret. I'm going to put 
enter ems as master let us go ahead and add and if you look at the yaml file so, so this is the config map value automatically created using the certificate value that we have put you can go ahead and check it in config maps and you can see that particular value again this is the client secret that is automatically created featuring the value of the red hat sso secret value Now let us go into administration cluster setting. Go into the cluster operators and look at the authentication. It is in the progressing status. Now it is available. So we can go ahead and log out and see what's happened to the sign on. Now you can see the newly added IDP definition is available. So I'm going to click on the open ID demo. We can use the user ID that we have created earlier. So now we are able to log in as a test user one. We logged in into the system using the test user one created as a user in the Red Hat SSO. Again, the objective of Red Hat SSO is that we can avail the other identity provider that we will be able to configure the different types using the social media as an option. We can also do GitLab and um, we can use any type of uh, other open ID connects and SAML and and different types of option that are available so that uh, we will be able to manage the identity providers through the Red Hat single sign-on product. Thank you all.